Well, they're phase one studies, but it's a good first step. It looks as though the vaccine generated a vigorous immune response. We like that. We think that's going to be associated with protection. Uh, a couple of notes. This is a two-dose vaccine. And there were some people who had sore arms and a little bit of fever and some fatigue, et cetera. The small price to pay for protection against COVID, I would think. So there's nothing there that would inhibit us from going on to larger trials, and they're currently underway. It's a careful, stepwise way of doing it. First, a smaller group of younger people, then you expand it to older people since it worked very well in the younger group. And we'll have to see how the older persons respond. We know that they generally don't respond as well as younger people to vaccines. So this is something we'll look at very carefully. It's probably one of the reasons this is a two dose vaccine because we clearly wanna protect older people and people who are frail with chronic underlying illnesses. Very important that the vaccine work in those populations. We ought to be careful. We don't wanna rush the science. And we all know that developing vaccines is a difficult process. It's not always a straight line. So if everything works well, we can anticipate maybe the beginning of the year sometime, first quarter of the year, we might have some results and it would be wonderful. But that assumes everything's working right on schedule.